so this week we're going to be talking about exercise and the impact. It's all about adapting this Alzheimer Awareness Month as the Alzheimer Society of Halton do what they can to continue services in this pandemic. CEO Mary Burnett says the society was thankfully considered essential right from the get-go. But we have continued throughout the pandemic to do visits in people's places of residence for individuals who are really struggling with the disease. We also have had individuals come into the office uh, for appointments by appointment only. We were doing some groups, but in the most recent lockdown, we thought we probably uh, should close uh, those off temporarily. But we've shifted, pivoted very nicely to virtual care. So we always had lots of care provided through telephone, but now we use Zoom, the health professional PEPIDA compliant Zoom, to do offer education, support groups, exercise classes, social groups. We developed a new microsite on our website that gives people um, all sorts of ideas about things they can do at home. Continuing to offer as much programs as possible, even if it's virtual, has become a priority for the Alzheimer's Society. As Burnett says, residents using their services are feeling the impact of the social isolation this pandemic has caused. And not being able to get out, which is so important. We know that socialization is very critical to quality of life for people affected by dementia. And we also know that people with dementia, living with dementia, have been the most adversely impacted because of the number of deaths in our long-term care homes, where over 80% of the residents have some form of cognitive impairment. Although called the Alzheimer's Society, the organization supports people with all forms of dementia. Burnett says they hope to raise the awareness so that people are not afraid to come forward, share their stories, or reach out for help. We will be featuring stories of people living with dementia. We're trying to break down some of the stigma because people can receive a diagnos diagnosis and live many good quality years of life long after diagnosis. So we're going to be featuring their stories on our website, on our social media, and then we're going to be featuring stories about our wonderful staff team who are here to help people along the journey. Now, as the Alzheimer's Society continues to be an essential service during lockdown, Burnett says this time is critical for the agency to help not only those suffering from the disease, but also the people caring for them. Let's not forget the caregivers, the care partners out there who are doing so much of this support right now on their own. And they truly are the frontline workers in much of the care that's being provided across this province. And we need to really figure out ways to better support them. So recently we've um, received some funding to offer more in-home respite. We've certainly been able to expand it, that program in Burlington because we recognize that people really need more supports. They can't, especially if they're, the individual's ready for long-term care, many of our long-term care homes are in outbreak and they're not accepting new placements, they can't. And so these families are supporting their family member at home with very little support. So I mean, one of the messages I'd really like to give today is we all need to reach out and support these families in whatever way we can.